Hey everybody, Shango Lose of Shaping Fire here on Vashon Island today, and I'm here with my buddy Tyler Marquart. Um, you know, uh, I would love to have a freeze dryer to make hash, um, but it's not in the budget yet, right? And so for years, I, like many people, um, you know, either take the uh, plant material, the hash, and, you know, maybe you put it in a tent with a dehumidifier, or maybe you blow some fans over, or maybe you do both, right? Um, and uh, I was making hash today, and Tyler said, hey, you know, I've got this new invention, um, which is a happy medium between using a dehumidifier and fans, but isn't quite... Um, the cost of a um, of a freeze dryer, and I'm like, dude, bring bring it over, check it out, and um, and we just used it on my hash, and I'm thoroughly impressed. Um, it's a game changer for me, and I'm going to start using this. Uh, I don't know if anybody else in the scene is using this, but this is the first time I've seen it in all of my experience. So uh, so I asked Ty to take a minute with us and explain um, what he's up to with this uh, with this new tech. Um, or we think it's new tech and then uh, and then we've got a bunch of pictures and videos for you so that um, you can uh, do it yourself at home so with that Ty so so go ahead and explain uh, what your solution is yeah awesome thanks for having me Shango um, basically what we've done uh, is used a filtration device um, that is that would you would use similar to making BHO but it's done with glass so there's a, a lab piece that's called a Buchner funnel or a Buchner funnel depending on how you're gonna pronounce it um, but it basically has a gl glass frit disc in it and it allows you to hook up a vacuum to it so that you can pull water through um, there's very a lot of different chemical uses in it for chemistry applications in a lab um, but if you were to apply uh, a 25 micron uh, dry sheet for um, uh, making bubble hash and I ice water sieve hash um, in there, that would allow you to put the, the wet hash on top of it, um, cover it with a piece of aluminum foil or some sort of fabric that would seal it, um, and then poke a small hole in it. You could pull the air through with a vacuum and pull the water out of the hash and allow it to dry faster and quicker without having just either air dried, or which is the cheap air medium, or using the freeze dryer. And so this was a quick way that we found um, within eight hours we were able to remove uh, one ounce of water from 100 grams of hash, uh, starting wet, right? And so after we pulled it out, we weighed the hash, it was 100 grams, uh, and then we pulled it through and we pulled uh, 30 grams of, or 28 grams of uh, water out of the material and uh, we almost pulled up, filled up an entire shot glass. And, and, the, and the, once the water's been pulled out, and by this point in the video, we've already edited in pictures of it, so you know what we're talking about, right? And you've seen it bubble, right? It's pretty badass. <laughs> um, what's happening is that the, the vacuum is pulling all the water through the bottom and leaving me with, uh, with dry-ish hash, certainly not wet hash anymore. Um, so, and, so, and also not yeah. dry to the point where it's usable like right after you finish. Uh, we're still working on how long the tech needs to be to go to complete, but we're finding that almost within 24 hours. The stuff that I ran yesterday and did this um, process yesterday afternoon and evening um, is already smokable today. So in, in one day. Now certainly I'm going to let it uh, fan dry for another day or so, but really it's it feels done it looks done yep and we didn't have any major popping or anything going like that there was a little bit with uh, just a, a smad a uh, little bit that we first did in the beginning but like after the second test it came out good and from there on it just seemed like it works yeah so one of the cool things about it is um, how inexpensive it is, right? So if we're, we're you know, while this is not exactly, a, you know, a uh, freeze drying, so, well, it's not at all a freeze drying solution, that's a solution that's gonna cost you, you know, 25 to 3,500 bucks to get into, whereas this costs how much? Uh, we spent just under $100 yeah. uh, for everything. The, uh, so it includes a small vacuum, um, at the Buchner funnel, um, and then also a beaker, regular beaker to attach it into, so. So if you have a lab, you know, if you're if you if you're licensed or unlicensed and have a lab, um, you know, you may already have this stuff in your lab and it's just a different way of applying it. And if you're like me and you don't have a lab or any kind of lab gear, um, like I'm able to get all the stuff on Amazon for under 100 bucks, which is a really nice solution. I would say that it, this pretty much um, removes the risk of molding, right? Yeah. Like, like you've got different timings to dry, but I think that since it's not sopping wet, 
really your 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 mold risk is is very low now. Yeah, you're definitely increasing the chances of success and reducing the contamination issues and uh, just making it a lot faster and more efficient. Now, obviously, the air you're sucking past it needs to be clean, right? Like if you're sucking moldy air past yeah. it, like you're going to increase your chances because you're increasing the amount it's hitting. But if you're doing it in a clean environment, which obviously you're going to aim to do when you're making your hash, um, you, you should be in a pretty good position to make sure that it dries quickly and you get the most water out of it as possible. I mean, we, we removed almost, what, 30% of the water yeah. in there, and then there was probably another fast. 5 or 10%. so fast. Yeah, quickly. And it was, uh, and it leaves it with a nice texture too like it's a it's a malleable usable texture um it doesn't create a texture like freeze drying does where it becomes crumbly and dusty at all but it also doesn't grease out right yeah and so you get like almost uh, kind of like a a, a toffee or a caramel kind of like consistency out of it where it would be like a pre like a sandy toffee yeah yeah it's, it's in interesting so um you know and again with the ice water hashes gold in gold out and uh and so we had good good runs this time for a good r d uh, and it really made the uh uh, end product look and, and come out much better so yeah so anyway so if you if this has any interest to you after uh seeing the video and hearing our little spit about it um go ahead and check in the description um uh, we've got some links to the the baseline tech that tyler um uh, developed for this and and you know this is like rev one right we know it works because because we've used it um, but we assume that other folks in the scene will build upon this, and we're going to keep on working on this idea too. And um, and you know, in the end, we'll all just keep sharing with each other and and find good DIY tech for everybody. So cool, yeah. thanks, Ty. Thank you. Right on, man.